No. Channel 8 Eyewitness News. Sports. Well, it's the best and worst time of year for high school basketball players. It's now across all classes. We are essentially in elimination mode for both boys and girls local teams. All city district final in girls tonight. Lincoln Southwest hosting Lincoln Southeast. First quarter, Southeast Kennedy Kirkendall hits the three. That gives the Knights an early lead. In transition, Southwest strikes back. Skyler Peeper finishes the land to grab the lead back. Tough defense for the Knights, though. Cassie Nash. Picks a Hawks pocket, turnover gives Southeast two points and a first half lead. The second half though, all about Southwest's defense and rebounding a 24-1 run to start the half. Hannah Kelly pours in 21 as Southwest wins it 45-30 to advance to state. And we knew this was gonna be tough, playing a city rival, kind of your arch rival, that anything can happen. And uh, we knew it was gonna be tough and when we challenged them at halftime, they stepped up to the plate and really delivered. What really changed is we really decided to get stronger on defense and we just play really good defense. That's what we've done all year and that's what we pride ourselves on. So we just had to stick to that. In Southwest, it's the first time in history to go three times in a row to state and our senior class just tied the record for amounts of wins at 74. It would mean the most to me and my seniors that we get to go out on such a high note and I just love playing with this team and we just want three more games together. I think they, you know, want to go out on a high note. They're not, they're not going down there thinking, oh, we just made it three times. They're going down there to make some noise. Lincoln Pies, the 10th, hosting Omaha Marion. This one a close game. That Chloe Sander layup gave the Bolts just a three-point lead in the second half, but then the Pius offense got hot. Junior Matty Reeling, 4-3. Then great passing as Lauren Talmanheim finds Julia Werdekemper streaking under the basket. That's how you draw it up, folks. Alexis Markowski, the sophomore, also working down low. Pius is going to state with a 64-43 win. Here, Sander and Markowski after the game. I'm so excited. It's what you dream about growing up. It's what I saw my sister doing um, four years ahead of me that I'm just so excited. This has always been the dream and now we just want to take it two more games, get to that championship and just keep working our hardest and I think we're all pretty excited about it. State is one of the best experiences that I've dreamed about ever since I was a kid. It's a contribution from the first day of practice to the, till the last day of practice. I'm just proud that we all came in, we did our jobs. It wasn't about who scored the most, it was just about having fun and winning the game. Lincoln Northeast looking to build off its last second win Thursday on the road at Millard North. McKenna Minter and Isaiah Trainer both working on the offensive end, but the Mustangs were too much tonight. Top the Rockets 53-45. Eleni does still have a shot at the wild card though. Lincoln High visiting Millard South. For the first time this year, Lynx hung tough early with a very talented Pats team, but in the end not enough as Millard South advances to state knocking off the Lynx. Lincoln Christian taking on Broken Bow in Class C1. Early going, Macy Arnold finds Barrett Power in the soft spot of the zone defense, and she drains the triple. Then some great passing by the Crusaders as, as uh, McKaylee Allies nails the three, and Lincoln Christian goes on to win a close one, 41 to 36. Milford and Adams Central. Milford led by nine to start the second half, but Adams Central came out roaring. Jessica Babcock was relentless from three and had a key bucket here to lead the comeback, beating Milford 35-33 to clinch Adams Central's first state berth in a decade. Another district championship at Crete. Fillmore Central rides a big second half to knock off Freeman in Class C2. The Panthers ice this one at the free throw line for a 54-34 win. And the right to cut down the nets. Fillmore Central, one of the best girls teams in their class, heading to state. And finally, Sterling taking on Loomis in Class D2. Colby Thies and Morgan Hanner with big days for the Jets as Sterling advances to state with a 64-50 win. Other scores, Bishop Newman beats Ron Colley in Class C1, and Superior beats Centennial in C2. Well, almost all the high school girls' state tournament spots are now clinched. Tonight, the boys kicked off their postseason district play. A wild district semifinal tonight at Lincoln High, hosting Elkhorn South first half. Keyshawn Jenkins drives the lane for the deuce. Lincoln High holding a first half lead. Then it's Boomer Jack throwing down the hammer. He ignites the crowd. 51-51 tie ball game. We skip to the fourth quarter. The pass to Jenkins. And folks, this is what you call ice in his veins. Three gives them a lead with a minute to play. Then Jenkins on the other end. He can do it on both sides. A huge block. Lincoln Eye holds on to win 57-53. A thriller for the Lynx. 
Miller North looking for revenge after losing to Lincoln Southwest in the season opener. Cameron Frederick the bucket here, but the Mustangs were too much tonight. Max Merle and Hunter Salas dominate as the Silverhawks fall by a 54-39 final score. Nebraska men's basketball's tip-off Saturday against Purdue has moved up to 1 o'clock as the Huskers kick off a stretch with its four final games against top 25 teams. And head coach Tim Miles knows things have to change quick. We need to play a lot harder and compete a lot harder. And nothing's easy. Whatever your mentality was, once you get punched in the mouth, if you run from your own, the side of your own blood, you're, you're really in trouble. I was extremely disappointed. I mean, it was like, honestly, as a coach, you always want to have a solution. None of us had a real good idea. <laughs> idea. And you know, I tried to motivate them. We watched film at halftime. I yelled at them. And you try a little bit of everything. But I, I, we have to have more resilience and just more internal toughness. Nebraska baseball's early season tilt with defending College World Series champion Oregon State was a matchup every Husker fan had circled. And while Mother Nature made you wait one extra day to see how the Big Reds stacked up, that really just means you get twice your baseball fill today. Doubleheader with the Beavers for Darren Erstad's squad. Game one goes to the seventh ranked Oregon State 8-2 and game two fall the Huskers fall 5-3. The series wraps up with a game apiece on Saturday and Sunday.